Hi, let's take a look at perspectives in Neo4j Bloom. On the left hand side in the picture, you can see a very simplified version of a financial services graph stored in Neo4j. In this graph, we have information about the customer, many different financial services accounts like bank accounts, loan accounts, uh, credit card accounts, information about the customer such as their phone number, address, social security number, and some transactional detail. This information might be available to different groups in the company. So on the right hand side, we've created different perspectives on this data. And these perspectives uh, show how this data might be viewed by a customer marketing person where they may not have access to social security number or transactional information denoted by the, these gray uh, squares and, and circles. This information is not going to be visible in that form that's just a, a depiction of what information is not available in that particular perspective the next one is a transactional analyst perspective in which case the data is completely anonymized all that the analyst can see is bank account numbers and trans, uh, you know, transactional information on the bottom there's an example of a bank division perspective where the bank division person may not have access to credit card information or loan information. So this is just an illustration of what different perspectives can provide these different business views that are relevant for different people in the, in the company, but all accessing the same graph. Let's take a look at perspective definition in Neo4j Bloom. Here's the UI for the application. In this case, I'm taking a fraud investigator perspective, which has all of this data available to me. But here I can choose uh, to toggle between different perspectives, assuming I had access to them. I could also create a perspective or allow Bloom to auto-generate one for me. So what constitutes a perspective? It has basically this, these different tabs. So categories allow the perspective designer to create categories based on different label nodes. So account holder in this case has a one-to-one -one mapping to an account holder label that exists in my Neo4j graph, where address uh, is actually mapped to multiple labels uh, in the Neo4j graph because there are multiple addresses available. But in this case, the perspective doesn't require differentiation between different types of addresses. I can choose to include or exclude different properties and I can also choose a particular property or multiple uh, to be displayed as the caption for the node. Also the perspective allows me to style these nodes based on different colors or choose an icon uh, and choose from a rich library of icons to uh, pick any different any particular icon you know that that might fancy me. I can also hide data that is not in any particular category. So if there's more data in the graph than is, than is needed for this perspective, I can hide it. And I can also choose to include or exclude different relationships. By default, everything is included. But if I click on any particular relationship type or multiple, I can go ahead and hide them from this, this perspective. Another thing that the perspective allows me to do is for these, this category of users, I can define my saved searches. So uh, searches that might be relevant to this user group, I can save them here and they become available as part of this perspective. And then finally, the group that I'm creating this perspective for, I need to share it with them. So I can pick from different roles uh, available. I can choose a new for j role like admin or I can define my custom roles like fraud investigators in this case uh, with with whom I've chose uh, I've shared this perspective so that's the idea of the perspective which defines the business view through which I'm going to be looking at my graph and everything that you do in the bloom UI essentially is driven by the, this perspective definition take a look at other videos where we explain these saved searches that we were explaining uh, a minute ago in more detail, as well as how the Bloom UI then takes advantage of this perspective definition.